Hello fellow Roku users, today we are going to show you how to bypass some of the restrictions for some Roku channels like National Geographic, CBS, even the History Channel, thanks to a very useful uh, app known as Plex. Now, as you can remember, many of these major TV stations have been launching their own Roku channels so that you can get access direct access to their materials but however that comes usually with a restriction you either have to be subscribed to a cable or a certain cable operator or you have to pay for an access an additional access like the case for CBS now Plex allows you to bypass that without having to pay for it and this is a good thing however you do have to be aware that Plex now it's not free it used to be free but now for Plex which is a media server you do have to pay a $4.99 per month uh, for having access to it. You can either buy it for a lifetime, I think it's for $150, but you see, most people don't know how powerful Plex is because they just use it for uh, a media server with movies, but you, you remember that on a previous video we showed you how to actually add channels to the Plex, because as you as you remember, Plex does have a lot of content, especially for channels. And what, what the, the beauty of Plex is that it takes content from these channels on the internet and through your computer you're able to access it on your Roku. Now, if you take for example, let's say CBS. CBS now has its own Roku channel, which is called CBS L All Access. And you do have to be subscribed in order to get access to all of your favorite CBS shows. It's $10.99 a month, I think. And you do need a US credit card. But if you use, you use Plex, you can actually access CBS, all of your favorite shows, but only the latest five episodes, which is not that bad at all if you take a look at it for free, and it's free. Now, the trick to, to, to uh, in, in actually, in, in order to get the most from the, the Plex app is to get a great DNS service, and that's very important because most people uh, usually buy a regular DNS. We strongly recommend you to get what is the jet switch from Overplay, and you will be able to get direct access to it on this video. You will find a small icon on the right, it's like an info sign. Just click on it and you will find a drop down, like you, as we will show you in many of our videos, like this. And you'll see that there's a link, a direct link for you to get the best Mardinus in our opinion, it's one of the best. Why is that? Okay, simple. As you can see, you get a lot of channels on Plex. There's a lot of them. BBC, CNN, uh, there's a German channel, there's a, even a Belgian channel. You got CBS, you got CBC, which is a Canadian channel. And what happens is that when you have all of these channels, it can be a handful to be switching regions because some of them are, are regionally restricted. So you have to have your DNS set up correctly in order to access the content, and it's it's quite complicated. However, if you get the, the let me show you real quick. Now, as you can see, the the good thing about the the DNS from Overplay is that you get all of your channels with predefined regions. So some of them, like Netflix, which has multiple regions, you can choose all of the regions available, which is a lot and some channels that they already have only a single region they come predefined so it's it's pretty much very easy to keep control of your content through Plex like as you can see there's a lot of channels so it's, it's very complicated to be switching back and forth and it will be kind of a handful when you get, will get upset because sometimes it will not work and then you will have to go to your computer and change it Plex it, I mean uh, Overplay makes it way easier for you now you see there's a history channel here through Plex. Now, you can access through the History Channel content without having to provide a subscription from a participant cable provider, and that's a good thing, because now you can find out that you can watch a lot of the content from many of these channels, either for free or without having to be registered to a particular cable provider. And this is a very good thing for people in the US as well as, well as in the world, because what happens is that now you pretty much get access to all the channels you want without any restriction. However, as I said before, you do need a DNS and it's very important. Remember that you can get access to the DNS like I showed you in this video. Right here, you will find the info sign. Just click on it and you will find a link to our website if you want to know more and also you will find a direct link through the JetSwitch Smart DNS from Overplay. Now.
Okay, now I'll show you really quick what I was talking about, the advantages of using Plex. You'll see that we will access the CBS channel, which is now CBS All Access. And that's because now they charge you, I think it's $5.99 per month for you to access all of your favorite CBS shows. However, you do have to have a US issued credit card. That's not a problem if you live in the States, but if you do live overseas, it might be an issue because you will only be able to browse clips. You will not be able to watch the shows or full episodes. And I will show you real quick, okay? Just pick a random TV show from CBS. I mean, it's the same with other channels like History Channel, the Discovery Network. I mean, it's pretty much the same. When you try to access them directly from your Roku, you do get some limitations. Uh, I mean, episodes, for instance, system 15, this just grab any random episode, and you will notice that you do require a subscription. However, if we go through CBS via Plex, you will be able to see that you do get access to CBS, but you only get access to the latest five episodes. Now, you see we have the channels installed, we go to CBS, we, we used to find all current shows, and let's say uh, it was, I think it's Big Brother, the one we were looking for, just click on Big Brother, as you can see. Right now we have the Plex server running on our, our, our laptop, so we're pulling the show from the laptop, get full episodes. And we will just speak. Okay, you see, it's even on season 17, which is, I think, it's even more current. But you'll notice that it depends on the show. Some shows do actually offer you all the episodes, others just offer you the latest five episodes. Now, let me just choose one randomly to show you. Okay, play. Now, this is very important. If you notice that it's buffering really slow, you have to make some settings on the Plex here on your Roku because what happens is it comes pretty fine for 3 megs so if you have a very fast internet that's not a problem but since we have 4 megs we lower it to 2 megs so it will upload a little bit quicker and still you get the HD quality just to show you real quick that we do get access to the CBS content via Plex and it's free so I mean, it's a good advantage. And that's a good thing to know about how to bypass some of the channels on your Roku via the Plex app because Plex has a lot of content. And it's very important you realize that you do need a DNS, as we pointed out previously, for getting the most of it. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook, it's Roku Panama. Uh, you can also follow us on Google Plus, BL Import Panama as well. And we also have a Twitter, it's real import Panama as well. So thanks for watching and we hope this video encouraged you to install Plex, get your overplay DNS and get the most from your Roku. Thanks for watching and well I will just wait to try to upload so you can see the quality of the video which is pretty good. It's an HD. Take some time with it. it depends on the internet. Have As you can see, there it is. So thank you.